Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to create this cool color isolation effect where the picture appears black and white but part of it still has color. And we are going to do it using a web application called Canva. Here I am at canva.com and I already have this blank template which I'm going to use to create my design. And I'm going to use this uh, same picture of the girl holding balloons. You can see that here we have the full picture in color. Let's learn how to create the color isolation effect. First thing we need to do, we need to copy this picture, copy and paste it on the same template. So right click, copy and right click, paste. Now we have two same pictures on our template and one of them is placed uh, on top and the other way is, and the other way the, the other one is placed at the bottom. We are going to select the picture that is placed at the bottom and then we are going to click edit image. Here we need to work with this panel that allows us to adjust and change colors in the picture and go we are going to bring saturation all the way down to minus 100 meaning that there is no saturation in this picture anymore it's a black and white picture for now we are done with this bottom picture and now we are going to start working with the picture that is on top we are going to click on it in order to select it then i'm going to drag it um, a bit to the center so we it's visible and the next step to do is to crop this picture and we are going to try and crop as close to the balloons as possible because we don't need the rest of it we only need the balloons cropping in canva is really easy you have these marks on the side of the photograph and all you need to do you need to drag this you need to drag the edges of the photograph using these marks and I'm going to try and crop as close to the balloons yeah that looks perfect and you see when we crop the top picture the bottom picture appears on our template and I'm cropping the bottom of the top picture and the left side as well all right, I'm satisfied with the result for now. And the next next step to do is to remove background from this balloon picture. We are going to click to select. We are going to select the balloon picture, and then we are going to click Edit Image. And here we are going to use Background Remover. We are going to click on it. And after a few seconds, Canva has removed background from our balloon picture. And one thing I want to say is that Canva is usually pretty good at removing background. Its algorithm is quite good when there is a bold object that really stands out in the picture. Let's say this object is bold in color or it has a really defined shape and that's when Canva's algorithm understands that this is the main object in the picture and the rest is background. Here you see that algorithm worked pretty well. It, it understood that we needed the balloons and we didn't need everything that was around them. So I'm satisfied with this result and I'm going to click apply. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drag these balloons exactly to the same spot where the balloons appear in the bottom picture. And you need to be quite precise so that it looks as natural as possible. And I think I did a good job and balloons are appearing exactly at the same spot where the balloons are in the bottom picture and you see we have already we already have created our color isolation effect but we need to do the last step and the last step i want to do i want to group two objects together so that the bottom picture and the balloon picture are going to work as one object and if i want to change the size of the picture or i want to drag it around the bottom picture and the balloons are going to behave as one 
object. So their proportions stay the same. It's not going to happen that the bottom picture is getting larger, but the balloons are staying the same size. That's why we need to group the objects. How are we going to do it? First, you need to click on the first object. Then you go into press the shift button on your keyboard and then select the second object. And right when you do it, you see there is this group button appears on the screen. I'm going to click on it and Canva has just grouped two objects into one. And now I'm going to make it smaller, make it bigger, drag it around. You see that two objects are now behaving as one. And I'm quite satisfied with this result. So all I need to do is to download this picture. And I'm going to use a simple JPEG format and download. And thank you very much for watching my video. Please do subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. And that will allow me to create more instructional videos like this one. Thank you.